puppet. Alex, yeah. you know that was, you've made it win. Yeah, that's exactly right. <laughs> I mean, that's you have your own time, your man. own puppet. So Pretty I guess exciting. I guess they accidentally called you Alex Puppet, and there you go. This is what happens. <laughs> and, and listen, I, I if, if nothing else, I always appreciate commitment to the bit. <laughs> it's important. <laughs> you got to commit to the bit. You got to run with it. They owned it. I mean, they. I love it now. Valerie owned it. I I love it, and 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 I love Alex Puppet. That's really cool. <laughs> hey, I, I don't love the way things look in Coleman this morning. It's going to improve, I promise, Coleman, but uh, we're starting out with some drizzle, some fog. Yeah, it's just not a nice start to the day with some of these showers lingering around this morning. Uh, just be prepared for a little more rain to kick off our day. But uh, overall, we will see improvement in the weather today. Temperature around 60 this morning. We're going to see those numbers trending up, though, as we head through the day up to around 70. Best chance for showers will be early morning, but I can't rule out an isolated shower as we head into the afternoon. Let's go to the future cast and show you this. Again, some scattered showers through about 7, 8 o'clock. As we head into this afternoon, this is one of the more aggressive models with a few very light isolated showers. I don't think we'll see this much on the radar, but one or two blips on that radar scan this afternoon possible. And if that catches you, you might see some raindrops for about five minutes and then you'll be done with it. As we head into Thursday, no activity on the radar through the day looking nice as we head through Thursday afternoon. Temperatures back into the 70s, maybe a few showers Thursday night, but the rain starts to move in on Friday, and that's going to be a substantial round of rain on the way. Heavy rain in store for us as we head into Friday and Friday night. That's your next weather maker as we head through Friday morning. Not a lot of rain out there, but Friday afternoon to Friday evening, heavy rain pushing into Alabama and Georgia out of Mississippi. Now, models still struggling with exactly how this evolves for us as we head through Friday. Somewhere in central Alabama into central and north Georgia, we're going to see a band of heavier rain that sets up, and that's where our best chance for flooding will be. I can't tell you exactly where that's going to set up, except it's probably in Alabama, somewhere between I-20 and I-85. But exactly where, that's still up in the air, but just understand that we're going to have that potential for some heavier rainfall somewhere in the southern two-thirds of the state of Alabama as we head into Friday afternoon and Friday night, and that could lead to some flash flooding issues. So we're weather aware for that potential for that heavier band of flooding leading to some flash and river flooding. So be prepared for that. Some lingering showers and storms Saturday, but then trending drier as we had a Saturday afternoon and into Sunday. There is some nicer weather on the horizon, but we got to get a bit of rain on the way to get through before we get to that nice weather next week. Ani, David.